Hi, Cappy. Welcome back, guys. I hope y'all are doing well today. This is going to be for <clears throat> anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And um, please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platform, okay? So let's see what's going on, Cappy. Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. What's going on for Cappy? What do they need to hear and know at this time? All right, so we have more than friends. Okay, let's see. Spirituality hater. I think Aries had this card. It says, hating on your beliefs, not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. Shady. Giving the impression of dishonesty, questionable, suspicious, and untrustworthy. For the clout. Hmm. Doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone, being fake. Then we have air sign, bottom of the deck. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be significant. Okay, this person that's a spirituality hater could be, uh, could be an air sign or... This could be a third party situation too <laughs> but let's see <clears throat> somebody here could be into spirituality just for the clout just for the attention you guys could be um readers you could do something spiritual and somebody here maybe wants to be like you But it's like you're really into what you do. Somebody else is not. They're doing that shit because for the attention of somebody else. Maybe somebody here sees you as more than just a friend Capricorn. Maybe this person knows this person or this could be their ex or whoever the fuck. They see you as more than just friends. Because obviously, I mean, they're attracted to you for one. But they could... Somebody that's interested in you could be into the things that you're into. So the other person is trying to act like they're into those things to get that attention from that person. You guys follow what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's see though. Let's see. What is more than friends here? More than friends, spirit. Three of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Could be dealing with another Capricorn. Someone could have an Aquarius. I mean, not Aquarius. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I meant to say... Cancer, Mercury. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody here wants to be more than friends with you. For, for some of you, I'm getting like someone is holding back from someone that they are just friends with because they don't want to be more than friends with this person. This could be the person that's trying to copy off you. And then someone here could want to reunite with you with the Three of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles, y'all are just friends, but they want to be more than just friends with you. Okay, so they're still holding on to you in hopes of like, you know, y'all reuniting or whatever. <laughs> like, let's see, yeah, Seven of Cups, Five of Wands. What's this three of cups? Some of you guys could be saving up to throw like a party, a gathering, or have some sort of like get together with friends. Okay, yeah, two of pentacles. So this is like juggling, trying to maintain or keep up with something. Something could be fluctuating, it's like up and down. This could be a third party situation, like I said, where somebody is juggling 
Okay. Yeah, the moon. Someone could be holding back from you because they are more than friends with somebody that they don't even want to be more than friends with. It's like, I don't know. It's like they, I don't, I don't know. Someone could have a Capricorn Jupiter. Someone is like trying to find balance in something. Two of Pentacles. Maybe someone is trying to, I don't know. Let's see. What's this Two of Pentacles? Five of Wands, yeah. Somebody's in competition with you. But somebody here too, I'm getting somebody doesn't even care if they're a third party. They just want to be a third party because someone is just weird. But there's like some competition here with the Five of Wands. This could talk about like inner conflict too. But I feel like there's definitely some sort of fighting or arguing or some, some sort of like petty conversations that somebody's having with somebody. Or these could be physical like arguments, fights and shit, right? All this shit just because someone wants to be more than friends with you and they don't, they're not being chosen. Somebody is delusional. <laughs> okay. Yeah, someone having a hard time getting to you here. What's the Four of Pentacles? It's because, I ain't gonna say it's because of the third party, but they got a big part to play in it. What's the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, the strength card. It's like holding back. I feel like this could be inner conflict too from a, from your person. If this is your person or whoever this is that want to be more than friends with you, there's like a lot of inner conflict here. They're trying to figure out maybe how to balance their work life, their whatever else they do to, you know what I'm saying? So that way they can prioritize you as more than just their friend. Someone here is like really egotistical too. They're really like prideful maybe. I don't know, but the Four of Pentacles and the Strength card, someone is really holding back. Or they holding on to you. I feel like they're holding on to you for dear life, but they're holding back, though. That's what I'm saying. Or this is you. Maybe you're holding back. What's the Four of Pentacles with the Strength card? The Star? Yeah, there's Aquarius. So this could be an Aquarius. For some of you, someone is, like, holding back because they're, they're needing to heal. They know they need to heal here. Just so I feel like someone is like holding on to you for like dear life though, and they're wishing, they're hoping, they're praying that y'all y'all could be more than friends, but they have to make they have to take action. I don't see them taking no action. Someone could be a little bit financially insecure and unstable. Somebody's money could be fluctuating in and out. They just I don't think they have it together. Some of you guys could be seen in the public eye. But I feel like this person, like, you have some sort of, like, healing energy. Your energy is very healing to this person. So they're holding on to you, but I don't know. Hmm. I feel like maybe you're holding back from this person, Capricorn. And maybe it's taking a lot of confidence and um, like strength, yeah, to, to keep holding back from this person. You want to be more than just friends with them, but they're going to have to show you that. I feel like they're not showing you anything. They're putting you in competition with this third party because they sure are here. And maybe they're not with this person. I don't get that they are, possibly. It's just... You know how people get petty when they leave relationships. The ex gets petty and they want to try to make it seem like they're in a relationship, but that they're when they're not. Somebody's like delusional. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody got a damn mental disorder. Or somebody just feels trapped with this with a person. This could be a lot of fear too. Someone feeling trapped in their head. Like it, it this could be like negative thinking, self-sabotage, you know. 
The Four of Pentacles is like control, though. It's like possessiveness. I feel like somebody's too busy trying to control the situation. Yeah, instead of... It's causing a stalemate, Two of Swords. Instead of just letting it flow. They want to be more than friends, but I feel like there's a lot of inner conflict. And then there's a third party in the way, too. That's probably a spirituality hater. <laughs> what's, what's this card? What's the spirituality hater card? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm telling you, for some of you, you're destined to do something spiritual in this lifetime. Yeah, Five of Cups. Someone is, like, upset or sad because whatever is fated to happen in your life is not happening in, the, in theirs. They, somebody is delusional, <laughs> this person, whoever this is. Somebody could be with someone that's a spirituality hater and it's destined for them to embark on a spiritual journey. I just heard shaman. Somebody here could be a shaman or was one in a past life. It's meant for them to carry this out in this lifetime or something or it's something. But that will of fortune is destiny. It's fate. It's cycles of life here. Um, The wheel turning. Good luck. Good karma when it's upright. <clears throat> What's this Wheel of Fortune? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, Nine of Swords flipped in reverse. And the King of Cups. Scorpio here. Someone could have a Gemini, Mars. So yeah, I feel like <clears throat> um, you could have a specific spirit guide around you here, Capricorn, that's like protecting you and guiding you at this time with the King of Cups. Okay, um, for others of you, this this person here has feelings for you. This King of Cups, they have like real strong feelings for you, but they could be married or they could be with somebody else. And I feel like they're in extreme regret. Okay. Yeah. The Magician, the Two of Wands, and the Two of Cups. For some of you, you have a new partnership coming in. Or this could be this person that you're in love with. I mean, let's hope it's them. But some of y'all don't want it to be them, so whatever. But the Judgment is here. King of Swords, Five of Swords. <clears throat> For some of you, um, what was I going to say? Someone is in like extreme regret and remorse. This could be your spirit team, though, that's helping you get out of some sort of, like, anxiety or feeling overwhelmed, feeling worried and stressed out. I feel like you're really holding back from this person because they keep putting you in third-party situations or they keep putting you up against, quote-unquote, the same, you know what I'm saying, the same bitch that they don't even want. It's something like that, you know, that somebody here that's just a hater. This could be somebody, too, that had different belief systems. Okay, then you, they have different belief systems, but little do they know that the person that they're with is like spiritual too, but they're dark or something. It's something like that. Who this King of Cups right here? The wheel is turning now, I feel like, in your favor, and they're getting ready to be in regret, especially if they married to this hoe. Yeah, the Ace of Wands in reverse. This is like disappointment. Some sort of like uh, something here that failed or this could be some sort of trap, delay. Somebody here is trapped in something. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, the Hangman is trapped with giving somebody, with giving to someone else. Okay. I feel like this Ace of Wands in Reverse too is like someone showing disinterest. Whoever this King of Cups is, that whoever they with or whoever they around, they're really turned off by whoever they with, and now they in, in they're in extreme regret now because the wheel is turning. Now things are changing. Either they're gonna go with the changes or they're gonna sit here and be stuck with this person. I feel like they said Five of Cups. What's this Five of Cups right here? Child, the Devil, and the Three of Swords. Libra, Saturn, yeah. Who 
Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Pentacles. So there is like, this is somebody's like ex. Somebody's ex is like sad or upset that they just, I feel like they're sad because they with the person that they quote unquote want, right? But they're not even happy there with this person. They're just doing that to make you feel a way and to fucking win this person over because they just think it's a competition. You feel what I'm saying? Like somebody is delusional. Somebody is really tripping. The moon, the seven of cups, and the ten of cups. Something is is an illusion. It's a, uh, it's not ideal. Okay. This could be somebody trying to cause an illusion to make it seem like this. Because the ten of cups could talk about like a faded, a destined partnership, marriage, kids, happy life. Okay, with the person that you want to be with. Is somebody here with the moon and the seven of cups? Someone is like under an illusion. They're confused. There's a lot of confusion here. Or the person that they with is painted to look like that's the person they're supposed to be with or deal with. But it's not. Somebody here is on some other shit. The Death card, the High Priestess, the Hierophant. Wow. Counterpart, Seven of Swords. Some sort of toxicity could be another Capricorn here. Something has gotten a hold of somebody's ass. I don't know. This devil could be like uh, addictions. Cody, yeah, codependency is an addiction though. Um, temptation, some sort of obsession here. What's the devil? What is this devil? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this could be some sort of like impulsivity. Somebody was impatient and they were they was impulsive and they did something. Okay, now they ass is in regret. They're sad. It's like they're grieving or they're mourning the loss of you because the wheel is turning. And I feel like you're growing to be very disinterested in this person now. <laughs> you don't want to have shit to do with them. But this Knight of Swords is someone that's goal oriented. They're very focused. They're go getters. They're goal driven. They did have 11, 11 on the clock. They did have some sort of goal. They were doing something and they asked to stuck now. They stuck. Yeah, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, Two of Swords. Somebody here is watching you. Could be this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone could have a, a Libra moon. <clears throat> Someone here is watching you. They watching you, and but the situation between y'all two is at a stalemate. Some of y'all could be getting new love here, Ace of Cups. And this person is sitting here, they got, they got feelings for you too, very deep feelings, but they're not showing it. It's like they can't, okay? What's the Three of Swords? There's some sort of big changes and opportunities coming in with the Knight of Swords, or this is what already happened. And it has something to do with this devil energy. What's the Three of Swords? Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're heartbroken. You're moving forward. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're free. Nine of Pentacles, the lovers, the four of swords. I feel like you're resting, you're healing. Okay, you're planning for your future. Definitely, you could be meeting new people with the lovers. Or you're just really focused on the things that you're passionate about at this time. I feel like with the uh, lovers, I'm also getting you're very well balanced. Your feminine and your masculine is balanced within yourself. Like, you're balanced now. Now that you've broken free from this. Okay, someone to have an Aquarius Mercury. So I feel like you're healing. You're making progress here. You're still you're steady moving forward. It's a slow process, but I feel like you're doing it. Okay. Cause somebody here hates the fact for some of you, if this is your counterpart or something like that, and y'all have like some sort of spiritual like um uh, quest or you're on some sort of spiritual journey with this person the person that they leaving or they supposed to be leaving is a spirituality hater they could be doing black magic all kind of shit to cause this person conflict within themselves about where they should be at what they should be believing in but this person they need to have a mind of their own they need to have a mind of their own here and they don't what's what's shady 
Okay, yeah, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody's not being a leader. Someone is like very weak or they lack confidence. What's the King of Wands in reverse? Could be a, a Leo, doesn't have to be. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is not asserting themselves. <clears throat> They're not assertive enough for you, I feel. Just period. This King of Wands in reverse, for some of you, this could be your child's father or this could be a man around you. I don't know. But that King of Wands in reverse could be someone that's quite abusive, very much so um, competitive and jealous. It's like whoever this is too, now that I'm, I'm seeing this out here like this. This could be a man here that's jealous of a, of a divine feminine. Okay, or it could be a woman. Flip the roles, but they want you to be a part of their little shindig. Like they want you to be a part of uh, some sort of um, poly connection or some sort of open relationship that they got with somebody else. Like they wanted you to be a part of this. I feel like you it, you don't want that. You you don't want to be a part of that shit. I feel like you're very independent. You're very very much so self reliant. You could um, own a business here. You could be a successful business owner, man or woman. Okay, but I feel like you're wealthy. You're prosperous with the Nine of Pentacles. And somebody here is... What, they're jealous. What's the King of Wands in reverse? The world. Give me more on the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. I feel like you're, if, if this is not the case with a man being jealous of you, I just feel like if this is a man here, they're not taking action towards you. They're not. They're not really being a leader. What's this King of Wands in reverse with the world? <laughs> wow. Queen of Wands in reverse of the world. Yeah. You're done with this cycle here with this karmic ass couple. This is a karmic couple. Just period. Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. King of Swords of Judgment. Two of Cups. I feel like, you know, if this was a counterpart, they definitely fucked up their contract. I don't know. It's like you could be getting a new damn counterpart. For some of you, this is like your ex and their comic partner that are just like jealous or something like that. They could be warlocks, dark witches and things like that. And they're just mad because they don't have the power that you have to change your life and things like that. It's because they keep doing this black ass magic. For others of you, if this is like a contract that you have with somebody, it's like ripped to shreds here because of what they did. They did something. And your archangel here, King of Swords, the Judgment and the Two of Cups. For some of you, somebody from your past wants your forgiveness. You could live at a distance from them. But this could be somebody that's like in love with you. Or your archangels are just bringing in a connection where it's going to be like a true, you know, connection. A true soulmate connection. Once you forgive your past with the judgment and make this, make a decisive decision. You could be making a decision on somebody. Some of y'all have a court case going on too. But you could be making a decision on somebody that's like cold towards you, just very aloof or elusive or, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not really giving you much of anything. So I feel like you could be turning your back on them. But for others of you, I don't know, it could be different. It could be all the other things that I said. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're just done with this whole cycle in the world this talks about a goal that's being achieved so i feel like you defeated both people in a sense somebody is too weak maybe to stand up to this queen of wands in reverse all right they don't have the confidence to stand up to this person this person could be very much so like a tyrant very hot tempered and just like chaotic and jealous both people are just jealous who's this queen of wands in reverse who is this queen of cups Give me more on the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Cups. Cancer energy could be Aries here. And the Six of Cups, yeah. So this Queen of Wands in reverse could be jealous of you here and this person. This King of Wands in reverse ain't got the, the balls to stand up to this person or get rid of them. You could definitely be some sort of like psychic, a healer. But um, this could be somebody that this person got kids with. Definitely somebody, I feel like you're gifted with the Queen of Cups, Six of Cups. You are like a healer. I feel like you're very beautiful. 
okay or handsome inside and out very much so empathetic compassionate very warm spirited warm hearted and so somebody's just jealous and this king of wands in reverse they i don't know who the fuck that is Mm. I mean, <laughs> you know who it is, I guess. I just described them, so hopefully it helps <laughs> you see who this is. But the world, yeah, I feel like you've achieved something here. You've 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 successfully beat some sort. I'm getting like spiritual warfare. This could be a dark witch and a warlock here that works together. And maybe you didn't have no clue. This is why you're getting ready to cycle out of this or you have moved away from this. And your spirit team, I feel like that King of Cups is your spirit guide. Because they're helping you to clear out your mind and move away from whoever this is. Yeah, the chariot. You got some sort of victory. There's triumph here. Yeah, over this fucking, this Ten of Swords. Where there could have been some sort of curse or a hex here or something like that. Or if it's not that, it's some sort of like betrayal, you know, some sort of betrayal. But I feel like you feel whole, you feel complete within yourself. Some of you guys are on, like in the public eye too. You could be online. You have some sort of gifts here. And that these people are jealous of. And they thought they could defeat you or play with you. That shit, that's crazy. What's up, the Nine of Pentacles? person that they with to could be like a succubus energy the hangman pisces energy yeah you're releasing you're letting go you're making sacrifices with the hangman definitely definitely you could be having some sort of awakening but i feel like you're setting yourself free from something here what's the hangman right here the nine of wands yeah an ongoing battle but i feel like you've learned some sort of lesson here you've overcame something so now you're moving forward but it's been a fight because i feel like somebody was these people here they were trying to sacrifice your ass <laughs> they were trying to sacrifice you honey and it didn't work mm. you're, you're some sort of spiritual warrior here you you could have definitely a spiritual business too Yeah, and I feel like you do have some sort of status. You do, though. And I feel like you're able to enjoy the fruits of your labor while these two hoes sit back and be jealous of you and live a life of poverty. Because that's exactly what they're in with this behavior. For sure that. Yeah, the high priestess. Some of y'all are, yeah, the high priestess, five of swords. A lot of miscommunication between you and somebody. Okay, a lot. I feel like they really try to play mind games with you and shit. But the high priestess, five of swords, someone was definitely playing on your psyche or whatever. But I feel like you 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 got some sort of victory with the uh, the five of swords. That's like you fighting back spiritually, like I said. The high priestess, the five of swords, queen of pentacles here, ten of swords. You are some sort of white witch. You're a healer. That's literally what a white witch is. 11.22 on the clock. The chariot. Yeah, you got some sort of victory here. Now you could be getting some sort of... um, You could be going through some sort of um upgrade with your, your gifts, your abilities. They're amplifying, enhancing, whatever. Ciao. What's, um, what's for the clout here? Someone could have a Sag Moon. What's for the clout? Virgo Venus as well. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Child, what's for the clout with the Ten of Swords? Could be a Gemini. Eight of Swords. I'm telling you, there was some sort of hex. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Ten and eight, that's 18. That's the moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Mm hmm. Somebody was trying to take you out, child. They was. 
they were trying to really play with your mind, your head space. What's the Ten of Swords? Something is definitely ending in their life. What's the Ten of Swords? But I don't feel like that's you, but flip the rose. Could be a cross watcher I'm talking about that is um defeated a Capricorn. But what's the Ten of Swords? Six of Wands, I'm telling you, a victory. Definitely somebody here wanted so much attention. The moon. Ten of Cups. Someone could have a have a Capricorn Jup I mean a Leo Jupiter. Yeah, somebody wanted to end your fame, your success. They wanted to bring you down a notch. They feel like you're too confident or you got too much of this and that. Okay, definitely rewards, recognition, success, victories here. I feel like you have a lot of people that support you as well. This person tried to put it into everything. What's are they trying to do? What's the Six of Wands? Could be multiple people that try to do this too, a group of people. Yeah, eight of cups in reverse. They try to cause some sort of stagnancy. Five of swords. Eight of cups in reverse is definitely like a uh, insecurities. It's like a uh, somebody that's that's too that's non-committal or faking their happiness. Okay, they're not really happy. And stagnancy. Emotional immaturity, too. <laughs> this person, they can't even handle their emotions in their mental space. I'm trying to take you out. They can't even fucking... When they get mad, they do impulsive shit. That's why this shit is over with. That's why it ended like how it ended. Because they don't have no control over their emotions. And they just fake anyway. It was going to get caught to regardless. You know. <laughs> like somebody is just stupid. They dumb. What's this eight, uh, eight of swords? Something getting ready to end badly for a group of people. Yeah, the hermit. Somebody does need psychiatric help. The Hermit with the Eight of Swords. Somebody needs a psychiatrist or a doctor. Some sort of doctor for their mental health. What's this Hermit? Could be a Virgo here. What's the Hermit with the um, Eight of Swords? Somebody could be going into isolation or getting... They're going to be in prison. Either real jail or they're going to spiritual jail. Or whatever. But what's... This could be like somebody in fear too. Somebody is like scared. What's the Eight of Swords with the Hermit? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody going to jail. Or they going to spiritual jail for trying to take this Ten of Pentacles. Whatever this is for you, this money, this happiness, a relationship, um, some sort of inheritance I get with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the Sun, the Ace of Cups, yeah, the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're dropping a burden. You're leaving something behind. That's been a burden to you. The Ace of Cups, the Sun. This could be fertility as well. So some of you guys could end up pregnant. Or you could just be fertile with like new ideas. I don't know. But this could be definitely new love here. That's going to make you very happy. Some of y'all getting ready to have children. If you know what I'm saying. If that's fitting for you. Don't take it if it don't fit. If you know you can't have kids. Or if you don't want any or whatever. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? Mm. I don't know what to say. I guess nothing else, huh? Let's see. Do I want to pull from here? Let's see. Because I feel like this is about some sort of connection or relationship. Your detective endings. Somebody could be under investigation. They're going to jail. They could be, but let's see. Give me a second, y'all. Hold on. Yeah. 
Sorry, y'all. The maintenance man is here. I gotta fix the AC. That shit just went off on me. I think I froze it over because <laughs> I had it on. I gotta reset it and do it the right way this time. I like it to be extra cold like when I sleep, so let's see. Clarify this spirit. So we have meeting someone new in reverse. Hmm. Let's see what else. Astrid in reverse only accepts high standards of behavior and avoiding. Bottom of the deck, Damien, abusive, manipulative, and toxic. This Astrid card in reverse is giving the Queen of Swords in reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini woman that's a liar and they're gossiping. To stop you or your person from... Because um, I feel like you are somebody new in this person's life. And this person knows that, that they this person wants to be more than friends with you. What's this meeting someone new in reverse? Somebody is trying to stop someone from meeting someone new. Hold on, girl. Okay. Let's see. What's meeting someone new in reverse? Winning. Positive outcome in your favor. Hmm. Uninterested in reverse, not wanting it. Yeah, this is just somebody that's competing with you. It's this whoever the fuck this is. And this person, like I said, they know that they're interested in you. Whoever this other person is, they know that. And so they, they've been in competition. And I feel like they got what they wanted too. And I feel like it's supposed to happen that way. Ho. <laughs> it's supposed to be that way. Whatever this contract you and this person got, you learn from it. They seem like they haven't. And that's the issue. They've been spiritually defeated. If y'all had some sort of spiritual contract y'all were supposed to work on or do or whatever. I don't know. What's um avoiding? Axel, non-emotional man's man in reverse. Good intentions can just be myself. Yeah, this King of Swords in reverse, child, I'm telling you. I'm getting like King of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Another like karmic couple here. Someone here made the wrong decision. They made the wrong judgment call. They judged you harshly and they avoided you. And you had good intentions here, I feel like. But they, they were too scatterbrained or something. What's Astrid in reverse? Cautious. What's Astrid in reverse with Cautious? Lorenzo. He'll sweet talk you, but he's only after one thing. Gaslighting. New love. New partner. Okay, thank you. There's something too that you just can't forgive either. I mean, you can forgive internally, I feel like, just so you can move on, but it's something they did something with this damn karmic that they was with. And then I feel like they caught feelings for you. Now they don't know. <laughs> they don't, I don't know, but Somebody here too, this karmic could have been like spreading rumors about you, talking like mad shit. This could be like a lot of malicious gossip. Yeah, so that way this person could like 
treat you like you were the opposition, like the enemy. So that way this person could sweet talk you and be only after one thing when it comes down to you. They could have they could be trying to make other people feel this way about you as well, you know, because they're jealous. You know what I'm saying? Only accept high standards of behavior in reverse. So somebody here wants, I feel like somebody wants people to look at you like you don't have any standards or morals or values. It's because they're jealous as hell, whoever this is. And the person that they was with or they ex or whoever the fuck they work with. Because now I feel like they work together, them and this karmic. They want some other shit. Then when this person met you, all that shit just changed. You know? What else? Because they fell in love with you. Yeah, a romantic date. Okay, so some of y'all could be going on a date here. <laughs> or you you and this person have started dating. Let's see what else comes out. What else, spirit? Something's not right. Yeah, detective and gaslighting. Yeah, I feel like this is just telling a story. That's when this shit happened. Okay, you and this person started dating. And they noticed this person started like pulling away from them. So they went behind their back and your back and did some shit. I don't know if they did spell work or what the fuck they did. Whatever they did. Yeah, third party, other people involved, bored. They did something to um desire, sexually driven emotions. They did something to abusive, manipulative, toxic to um pull this person away they could have did like sex magic separations they did something to cause this person to be disinterested in you they, they were gossiping or they was doing fucking magic one or the other but i feel like they went snooping they went digging to see what this person was doing or whatever or this is what's currently happening so they started doing this gaslighting bullshit or this is what's happening right now you got you guys could be dating and somebody's trying to really peep and look into who you're dating or who you're with so that way they can figure out how to ruin it. What's gaslighting? Because something is not right, meaning somebody is used to you maybe being on some sort of schedule. You have a routine. Um, somebody is used to maybe watching you at a certain time of the day. You feel what I'm saying? Something like that. What's gaslighting? And now you probably then gone ghost because you're minding your business. What the fuck? Melania gets obsessive and attached to others. What's gaslighting? message receiving a message or dm so some of y'all could be receiving some sort of message here what's this message making it work yeah <laughs> they gaslighted this person into making something work with them child what's detective john logical analytical and aloof What's detective with John here? Tension behind the scenes. Yeah. Acting secretive, lovers romantically involved, heart protected, texting. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So this is person that's, that went digging. I feel like that was your person. But they were going through something. I mean, it just started to be a lot. Okay, that's what I feel. Like, something just started spiraling, spiraling out of control. You know. Or this could be they ass trying to, like, look and peep and see what you're doing. To figure out when they can come in to try to make some shit work with you. And I feel like you're going to be moving on. Because I don't like gaslighting is emotional abuse. What else, spirit? Connection beyond physical attraction, meeting while out. Elodi, warm, empathetic, and fair. Yeah. What's this connection beyond physical attraction? I feel like that's you and your person, but you could be meeting somebody new. While you, like if you go out and go to a nice bar or something like that, you're going to meet somebody or... Let's see, but what's connection beyond physical attraction? Facade, yeah, somebody keep playing games. That's that person, your person. They keep hiding the fact that the connection is beyond physical attraction. I feel like to appease this person and they're never gonna be pleased because they already know like somebody is really gullible or naive. And I feel like that's the issue. Somebody is moving like this other person. 
I mean, neither one of them is too damn smart, if you ask me. But I'm saying, somebody doesn't, it's like either they don't know that they're working with a damn, somebody that's just spiteful, very vindictive. And they always going to be 10 steps ahead of this person if they keep moving how they moving. What's meeting while out? Platonic, purely friendship. What's this meeting while out here? Emotionalist, unhappily, unhappily married. And then we have Josh always sliding into people's DMs. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's make up addicted and endings. <laughs> this person, for a lot of you guys, you're finding out that these people that you be, you know what I'm saying, thought that something was going to grow with. These people are warlocks. They're, they're dealing with dark witches. And <clears throat> it's just a lot. This person has worn a mask since they met your ass. What's Elodi? I feel like that's the Queen of Cups. Warm, empathetic, and fair. That's the Queen of Cups right there. Yeah, Asta. Then we have Asta. Provides a fantasy and is usually the other woman. What's Elodi with Asta? Looking amazing. And future, looking at options for the future. Yeah, I feel like when this person met you, and even now, you're still looking at options for the future. You're planning for your future. When you met them, you was doing that. And I feel like this person here provides a fantasy and is usually the other woman. They thought, I don't know what they thought. But this ain't no fucking fantasy. This is some real life shit. The, sh the bitch that you're with is a fucking fantasy. <laughs> they're not, they're not on nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Like... Somebody got you misconstrued here. What else? Quick change in movement. That's like the Knight of Swords card to me. Breathe, anxious. Player in reverse, juggling romantic interest. So either you're getting rid of this damn player or they getting rid of their player ways. Yeah, long term, <laughs> mistreated, treated badly and unfairly. Yeah, Romeo, romantic and expressive, playing the cool. I feel like um, the quick change in movement is you moving on to somebody else or moving in a new direction just in general. And this is when this person is going to try to like change their ways. What's player in reverse? responsibility is not easy to just up and leave yeah i feel like they ain't even with this person yeah harry highly sensitive and can easily feel overwhelmed i feel like that's the counterpart to elodie <laughs> the cancer and the king of cups showed up and then we have cancer oh wow yeah i think the king of cups did show up with the queen of cups in the spray right if i'm not mistaken yeah it did. This karmic is jealous of this connection between you and this person. So they really tried to like, they did a lot here. Playing it cool, romantic and expressive. Now they want to express their feelings. They want to romance you and things like that. But now, let's see, what, what's the quick change in movement? Meeting, getting together in person. And Anive, very moody, insecure, and controlling. So this person, I feel like they're, they're working on trying to meet you in person to see you or something like that. What's Anive? Very moody and insecure. Good intentions. Elliot, stable, mature, reliable. For some of you, you could be meeting someone new, okay, in person. Like, I don't know, y'all could be going out for drinks and blah, blah, blah. Somebody that has good intentions for you. But you could be, like, moody or you could have, like, insecurities coming up now because of all the shit that you've been through. But somebody here has good intentions or this is you that has the good intentions. Elliot, stable, mature, reliable. Could be an earth sign, another earth sign. Or that's you. <laughs> that's you. I don't know, but somebody, there's something that's happening quickly. 
And maybe this karmic is still in the way. Yeah, speaking up. Watching, social media, stalking, rekindling, committed. <laughs> Somebody here is going to speak up about something, maybe when you're in a committed relationship, but they, they want to rekindle. So you might have a choice to make. Just saying. You got a decision to make here because they want to rekindle something with you. And I feel like by that time, you're going to be probably in another connection somewhere. Let's see. envious of your career and the money you make somebody is jealous i feel like you do something spiritual you just do whatever and somebody's just mad we have they talk about you behind your back yeah block throat chakra issues and intentions communication truth authenticity inspiration clarity release annoying block spam phone calls random texts from unknown numbers yerba santa uplifting aroma inner courage increased psychic powers Healing, protection, a traditional remedy for coughing. So some of you guys could be sick. You could be having some sort of cough here. You need some Yerba Santa. That's uh, some sort of like sage. Somebody's trying, to block, somebody's trying to block you from being able to speak or do something like that. Uh, somebody is tripping. Solar block, uh, block solar plexus chakra. Issues and intentions. Authority, confidence, courage, energy. Power, pride, respect, sensitivity, transformation, and willpower. Yeah. Causing you to lose your appetite. Jealous of the attention you get from others, child. That's that's there. Because <laughs> they're definitely jealous, whoever the fuck this is. Well, this is karmic of your person's, or this is your karmic. But it says blue sage. Light, heavenly aroma that's great for cleansing the energy of your home, calming, relaxation, tranquility, spiritual cleansing. Perform or learn how to do an egg cleanse. Lavender sage. So we got blue sage, yerba santa, and lavender sage. Okay, you need those. Clears away negative thoughts, energies, harmonizes the mind, enhances intuition, inspires loving feelings. Karma's a bitch. The evil eye they sent your way has backfired. Causing you to miss out and lose an opportunity. And the person causing you negativity is an air sign. But whoever that air sign is, it's either air sign feminine or masculine. Okay, what else? Give me a couple more. Bottom of the deck, always going against you by arguing their point. Never considerate of your point of view. Like a true narcissist. So we got black sage here, white sage. Okay, y'all need some sage, honey. Y'all need to smudge the fuck out of your, your area, your place, whatever. It says heavy aroma, the power to draw your energy and consciousness into other realms. Protection when astro traveling. They are turning others against you. White sage, meditation, protection, cleansing, and purifying the body, warding off evil spirits, and fending off infection. Something, somebody is sick. Okay, Somebody losing their appetite, they can't, like, they coughing. Somebody is, like, sick here. Block third eye chakra, issues and intentions. Clear audience, clairvoyance, clarity, healing, illumination, imagination, visions, intuition, wisdom, psychic abilities, child. Mm. This karmic is trying to turn not just this person, but a lot of other people against you because they're just a loser. They're just a fucking loser. I feel like you had to battle this hoe in a past life. You know. All right, so we have 808. It says, pay close attention to your finances. Set a budget and stick to it. You must build a solid foundation for yourself. We got 212. Love what you do and put forth more effort. Take a risk. 111. Be mindful of your thoughts. Keep them positive as you are manifesting very quickly. 1818. Have no fear. Step outside of your comfort zone and move forward in pursuit of your passions. 
505. Good things are coming, but changes are necessary. Face any fears that may arise and use your time wisely. 9191. A new door is opening for you. Walk through it with confidence and faith. 8080. An ending will take place soon. Have no fear. Endings are a part of life and necessary to live in your life's purpose. 888. A cycle is ending with this phase in your career or relationship. Prepare accordingly. 5151. You may soon experience temptations and distractions. Take time alone to clear your head and separate from people or situations that could block your ability to focus. 303. It's time to work on building your legacy. Make a difference and pursue something much greater than yourself. 7-7. Seven, seven. Continue to use your discernment. Make good choices. Yeah, I feel like somebody is trying to send you that, though. Because the Ten of Pentacles is here with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. It's like stuck energy, kind of. Some of y'all really do need to like go within here. And just take time to yourself. I don't know. But... Child... <laughs> Number five, bottom of the deck. Positive changes are headed your way. Focus on the benefits and all will turn out in your favor. So this was your reading, Cappy. Okay, I hope that this resonated. Hopefully you got some clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.